On Sir Topham Hatt's railway, animals can sometimes stray onto the line. Engines have to be very careful to avoid accidents. A whistle will scare away rabbits and deer, but other animals, not so much. One day, a group of turtles emerged out of the forest near Thomas's branch line, headed to a nearby pond. They paused to sun themselves on the warm rails. Luckily, a local potato farmer spotted them and quickly raised the alarm. Thomas's train was halted at Maithwaite as the farmers worked to move the turtles to safety. Hmm, silly things. Don't they know to keep off the rails? Turtles have been around for millions of years, Thomas, and steam engines only for the last hundred or so. They'll learn to get used to you eventually. I haven't got millions of years to wait around. Thomas's driver was given the all clear, and Thomas's train set off again. There's got to be a way for those turtles to cross over the tracks without getting in my way. Thomas went into a tunnel and had an idea by the time he came out the other side. He decided to tell Sir Topham Hatt at once. That's a wonderful idea, Thomas. Though I'm not too sure who can help make it happen. You mean the turtles? On the line? I've heard my passengers mentioning them for weeks. Hmm. Sir Topham Hatt had an idea. Thomas was surprised to learn that the local people already knew about the turtles and were eager to help protect them. Everyone agreed to work together. In no time at all, Thomas's idea was put in motion. A short while later, the work was complete. The local people had built tunnels underneath the rails, just the right size for turtles to pass through. Thomas arrived to make the inaugural pass over the new addition. It wasn't long before the turtles came through, making their return trip from the pond back to the forest. They eyed the tunnels curiously before crawling safely through them, right under Thomas's wheels. Thanks to everyone's help and hard work, the turtles can now carry on just as they always have. But it wouldn't have been possible without Thomas. Without Thomas, the turtles would probably be dead. Oh, they'd definitely be dead, Rodney.